Hi, Stampin' Friends. Tonight we're using the Hippo Happiness Set. It comes with a lot of cute little um, sayings, kind of punny sayings, and uh, a hippo, a unicorn, a, and, a, and some little lambs or ewes. Um, it has a butterfly, and these are two-step stamping. Um, so you can do this with your um, Stamparatus, I mean, gosh, yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> you can do it with your Stamparatus or you can use blocks. Tonight I'm gonna use blocks. Then it has Hippo Birthday, just fluttering by, so, fluttering by just to say hi, you are special. So there's some cute ones like that. I'm going to do the mystery stamping right after that. So, um, and it'll actually use this set as well. Um, I'm also using a couple of things from the catalog. Um, I'm using some paper that is with the Playful Patterns 6x6 Designer Series Paper Pack. And um, that is the paper that I'll be using. What I had said that we need is your scoreboard. Or simply scored. And you need an 8x8 piece of cardstock. So... You need a scoring tool. That's the poker. Hold on. I had it out so that I would be able to find it. Interesting. Let me do a quick check here. Well, you can always use your this tool. Yeah, it's gone. Um, if you can't find your scoring tool. It's laying here somewhere. I tried to put it right where I would be able to find it. Isn't that the worst? If I don't clean up, I actually do better than when I do. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is take your 8-inch eight eight square piece of cardstock and score at 4. And um, then you're going to score at 4. So, to me, this is kind of how, how the mystery was called in 4s. So, um, to me, this kind of goes along with it. So, we'll see if you agree after we're finished. So, then you line up. What, what I've done on my um, Simply Scored is draw a line with a marker down the entire length of some of these um, lines. That helps me when I want to do a diagonal. I can put one point up in the, up in the um, top. And then I can line up the point down here at the bottom. And then I can just score down the diagonal of the, the um, cardstock. So then the other score that I need to make is on, it doesn't matter which side you use, but on just one of the sides. Now what you want to do is line it up here, the edge here, and the edge here. So you want to get your the point of this and the point of this um, where your um, four inch scores cut off and then go down that to make another, another um, horizontal cut. So you have a horizontal across the diagonal and a horizontal here across this square. So you've scored here and here. Remember we scored at four and at four then we scored on the diagonal in a line, and then we scored here from point to point on this little square in a diagonal. Okay, so that should be all we need for that. And at this point, you just fold all of your folds and use your bone folder and get these folded. And you might want to fold them even both directions, oddly enough, to try and get them kind of um, neater when you go to fold the whole thing. So there's that. Then you want to do your, when you do this, you want to fold this back. Whatever you think is the front of your card, you want to fold and have that be on the top when you fold these folds here. Okay, so there we've got that. So what we're doing here is we're just folding these pieces together. Does that make sense? We folded the middle ones in, and now it's a pop-up explosion card. So at this point, you can take your card and stick it down inside a, um, let's see, I should get here, like this. 
you have to have a little bit larger base for this card, but you can stick it down inside another card. So then what you do, like it would be a, um, portrait shaped card, but you would just lift it like this and then it would pop up inside the card. But we're doing just a regular explosion card. So what I do on the front is just fold the front down like this. It's been several years since I made one of these. If you made one of these at class, be sure and tell me. So then this card is basically the card base at this point. So easy peasy. And then this is where you need your designer series paper. So what I've used here is the multicolored pieces of, of uh, with the white background. And then I used this nice little stripe. One thing you don't wanna do on this card is use a vertical stripe, I mean a horizontal stripe on these pieces because it's gonna be going crazy directions. So something to think about there, you kinda of want there to not be a lot of, of straight stripes. See, this is a diagonal, so that looks really good. You just don't want any straight stripes. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm gonna to try to reach down here and get a couple of the little guys that fell earlier, because I need them. I wanna put my hippo on the front and a little happy birthday. So I'm going to put him on here with a dimensional. And I'm gonna leave his head up a little above the line of the card. So that when he's, so when it's loose like this, he's, his head is actually kind of sticking up. Okay, so we've got that. And then I want to go ahead and Stamp another hippo birthday. And where did I put it? No one knows. We gotta find it. Here it is. Hippo birthday. Oh, it's still crazy. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, I can't get this one straight. Or maybe it's not straight. I don't know. Totally possible. Eh, it's a little straighter. I don't know. You all can laugh at me, it's fine. All right, then I'm gonna use this little punch. Do my hippo birthday. There we are. And then since I liked it so well last time, I think I'm gonna go ahead and punch a tailored tag punch underneath. I don't know, that might've looked better in purple. That might've been the way to go. But anyway, this will be cute anyway. Close enough. All right. Pop it right on there. Like that. And then maybe it kind of echoes the point here. If that makes sense. It kind of um, adds a little more um, interest to the front of the card. So I'm gonna get two dimensionals to put on there. I think around this little edge here, it might be cute. I'm gonna use some, there we go. I'm gonna use um, glue dots and adhere this ribbon on the back. And try to get them as straight as possible. Maybe if what you can do here, if you're trying to get it straight, is count the number of squares on the grid paper. Gosh, can you even see that? Let's see. There we go. Count the number of squares on the grid paper um, and go like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and put your other dot on the other side at six over here. That'll make more sense when I show you exactly what I'm talking about, sorry. So, two, three, four, six, seven, right there. And then just take your ribbon and stick it down. And then pull it around into a knot. Hold on, I'm gonna cut it. Okay, 
try to decide. I think I want it over here. Give it a little tie. I considered using a bow and kind of thought better of it than just cut the little edges. And then I'm going to just put my hippo birthday kind of right there. Try to get it straight. There we are. Okay, so there's my hippo birthday. Now, I think it would be cute if it looked like he had some balloons tied under him like we did on the last one. And I kind of think the more balloons, the better. I mean, is it me? I just kind of think that's that adds. So I'm gonna get a glue dot, put this right under here. I don't wanna stick him down to it yet because I wanna be able to add more balloons or adjust as needed because you know, your glue dots won't be completely stuck down right at first. One there. I think that's probably as long as I want any of my balloons to be. And then I think I want maybe one over here give that a cut right there and I really don't have any way to know if that's what they intended for these balloons I'm really not sure it's just what I thought was kind of cute let's see where do I think oh, I should put another balloon should it go over this way oh, this way I think on this side make it look like it's coming out of his butt. Look like they're all coming from basically the same place. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to be crude. Okay, so then I'm gonna cut that one off. So one thing that you can do on these balloons is use one on the front and one on the back. So take your glue dot and put, a, put one on each balloon that you're going to use. So one here and one here. And then I wanna get the purple. And oh, I cannot decide what other color balloon to use. I feel like maybe the orange or maybe the yellow, I don't know. Oh, there's more yellow in here, I'll use the yellow. This is Bumblebee, I shouldn't call it yellow. I should call it by its name. So now that I've got um, six of these, I'm going to use them um, as my um, top to this little balloon. So what I wanna do is just gently stick it down where it seems like it'll be cute, then lift it up, kind of fold it over, and put my other balloon on the back, line it up as best I can. You, you may not get it exactly right, but you know, as close as you can, kind of give it a little slide. Oops. See, I didn't do a super great job. There we go, now it's kind of sliding. Get those in the right place. I don't mess up my, there we are. Okay, then I'm gonna, oh, I've got the purple one stuck to my arm. Cause you know, that makes it fun. So then I think I'll do the back first. Doesn't that make more sense? And then I'll take the front and I'll try to stick it down on top of it. Yeah, see now you're like, oh, there she goes. She's finally figuring it out. Ah, oh, so much better. Okay, then I'm gonna put the back one over here. Stick it, and you do wanna get your um, little bit of um, string, you know, our cardstock string, um, caught up within the um, glue dots so that they stick nicely. Okay, so there. I think you can see how that they have kind of motion. Now you'll want to be careful when you put that in a card, but I think that adds a lot of um, movement or whatever to the card. Okay, so now that I've done the happy birthday, I've got the front done, and then we want a little something cute inside, I think. So what we have for that is two little U's, and we have that two U stamp set. So I'm gonna use the same color. I'm still gonna use the gorgeous grape that we used on the front. And I'm gonna stamp that on my white. So 
it's just kind of a small one. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and do another one just in case I have a little trouble. So there's my 2U. Then I'm going to use this classic label punch again. And I'm going to try, kind of just scooch it over just a little bit because I want to make this smaller. I like to use just a little bit like that. Then I'm just going to slide this through and then get it lined up as best I can and about the same distance from each side and then punch. So now that I've got that, I'm just going to want to put the 2U under here. And I think I will again pop that up on this Coastal Cabana. And then do this here. So there's my 2U. So I think I'm gonna stick this down so that I can pop up my little ewes, my little sheep, and pop them up on the um, dimensionals to kind of give it a little more of a pop. Now I'm using my stripes here to line up the edges of my punch. Now I'm just gonna put a dimensional under each U. You might want to put bows in their hair. We talked about that earlier. If it's um, a little girl, that could be really cute. So now we've got our sign of four. And the reason that I thought this, I wonder if any of you guessed. I'd like to be able to give a prize for when people guess what the fun fold is going to be on mystery stamping night. So I had asked earlier if anyone um, had a guess of what the um, fun fold was going to be. So if you ever have a guess, be sure and put it on the mystery stamping post. So, okay. So now I think you can, whoopsie, there we are. I think you can see kind of a peppy little card. That's happy birthday. To you, because it's to you. Isn't that punny, punny, punny? So there we are. We can do the happy hippo birthday to you. And that is our mystery stamping for tonight, our sign of four, because there's four points on this card. So let me know if you have any suggestions for fun folds or anything like that that you would like me to try and that maybe you haven't tried yet. Bye-bye. Happy stamping.